Well, with the weather heating up, the Coast Guard is reminding people the importance of staying safe on the water. News 5's Cameron Justice with their message tonight. Today, the United States Coast Guard held an open house in Cleveland. It's an opportunity for the community to come and see what the Coast Guard does on the Great Lakes. Holding simulations and training demonstrations on the waters of Lake Erie. During the event, members of the Coast Guard showcased how they train and execute their rescue operations, letting the community know that they intend to be ready whenever they are needed. The Coast Guard is available 24-7, 365. We're only just a phone call away. Our units are training all year to prepare for those distress situations. But the Coast Guard also shared information about how to stay safe on the water, efforting to educate people and prevent drownings. That includes making sure you have your life jackets and that people are wearing them. In 2020, 108 people drowned in the Great Lakes with 19 of those drownings occurring on Lake Erie. And the number one thing would be to prepare and plan. Filing a float plan with a loved one on shore, letting them know where you're going, when you're expected to return. According to the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, so far this year, one person has drowned on Lake Erie. Two deaths of unknown cause have been reported on the lake, and the condition of one individual who was found in the water is unknown. Additionally, checking the weather. The Coast Guard says that although the weather may be warm, current water temps could result in tragic outcomes. It's really, really warm today, but that water temperature is not. It's dangerously cold. Hypothermia could set in as little as an hour with water temperatures like this, and you only have about 10 minutes of functional movement if you became sudden, suddenly immersed. Saturday's open house taught these lessons and more with the Coast Guard hoping to strengthen their bond with the community and keep more people safe as they head out on the lake. We depend on the community and the community depends on us. We want to have that relationship. We want folks to see what we're doing and how we can help you. In Cleveland, Cameron Justice, News 5.